In a typical ONTAP Select multi-node deployment, the ONTAP Select instances run as virtual machines on an ESXi or KVM hypervisor. The ONTAP Select deploy instance also runs as a virtual machine on a hypervisor. It's important to understand the network configurations when you deploy an ONTAP Select cluster. Communication between ONTAP Select cluster nodes, the deploy virtual machine, and the external network must be configured correctly. You should prepare the hypervisor networking environment before deploying ONTAP Select. Certain networking configurations are required for ONTAP Select single node and multi node clusters. On an ESXi hypervisor, only standard and distributed virtual switches are supported. Only open virtual switches are supported for kernel-based virtual machine or KVM hypervisors. A virtual switch on every ONTAP Select host must be configured to provide access to the external network via a properly configured port group. Let's begin by taking a closer look at a single node ONTAP Select cluster. Single node clusters do not require an ONTAP Select internal network because there is no cluster, HA, or mirror traffic. Each ONTAP Select VM contains three virtual network adapters, E0A, E0B, and E0C. These ports provide management, data, and inter-cluster services. The NetApp recommended best practice is to make use of NIC teaming on both the internal and the external networks of the ONTAP Select cluster. The multi-node ONTAP Select network configuration consists of two networks. In addition to providing access to the external network, multi-node ONTAP Select clusters require an additional dedicated port group and VLAN for ONTAP Select to ONTAP Select internal cluster traffic. The isolated internal network is required only when a multi-node cluster is deployed. Four, six, and eight-node ONTAP Select clusters have similar network configurations. This is a closer look at an ONTAP Select multi-node network configuration. Each ONTAP Select instance resides on a separate physical server. Internal and external traffic is isolated using separate network port groups. The port groups are assigned to each virtual network interface and allow cluster nodes to share the same physical switch infrastructure. The ONTAP internal network is dedicated to ONTAP Select traffic. Throughput and latency are important. The internal network carries ONTAP intra-cluster traffic, such as High Availability Interconnect or HA Interconnect and RAID Sync Mirror or RSM. The Deploy VM automatically generates and assigns the link local IP addresses for the internal network interfaces during cluster creation. The external network provides access to NAS protocols and iSCSI SAN traffic. Management and intercluster replication, snap mirror, and snap vault traffic also use the external network. Optionally, the cluster and node management traffic can be segregated via a dedicated port group. If a firewall exists on the external network, the deploy VM must be able to connect to the vCenter server, ESXi hosts, and ONTAP select nodes, and cluster management IP addresses. The initial connection to the vCenter server is established by using SOAP over Secure Sockets layer or SSL on TCP port 443. Then a connection is opened by using SSL on port 902. The deploy VM must also be able to communicate with the ONTAP select nodes and cluster management IP addresses by using Internet Control Message Protocol or ICMP on PING, Secure Shell or SSH on port 22, and SSL on port 443. NetApp recommends that firewall ports 7200 through 7400 be open both inbound and outbound to enable access to vSphere. This table summarizes configuration details for the internal and external networks. Remember that the internal network enables ONTAP select nodes and the same cluster to communicate with one another. 
large frames are supported with MTU sizes between 7500 and 9000 bytes. IP address assignment is auto-generated. The external network provides access to client traffic, management applications, and inter-cluster connectivity. Network isolation is required on the internal network, but is optional on the external network. Frame sizes default to 1500 bytes, but jumbo frames are supported. IP address assignment is user-defined. Note that single 10 gigabit links are only supported for two-node clusters. NetApp recommends isolating data traffic and management traffic into separate Layer 2 networks. In the ONTAP Select environment, this is done using VLAN tags. ONTAP Select supports various methods of VLAN tagging. The internal network should use a non-routable, isolated VLAN. For the ONTAP Select internal network, tagging is done at the port group level or on the external switch. The external network can use either virtual switch tagging, external switch tagging, or virtual guest tagging. In all cases, VLAN tagging for internal network traffic is done outside of the ONTAP Select VM. In this example, the physical NICs used by the vSwitches hosting both the internal and external network port groups are cabled to the same upstream switch. Switch traffic is kept isolated using broadcast domains contained within separate VLANs. The shared switch in this example is a single point of failure. If possible, multiple switches should be used to prevent a physical hardware failure from causing a cluster network outage. When redundancy is needed, multiple physical network switches should be used. A recommended configuration is shown being used by one node in a multi-node ONTAP select cluster. Physical NICs are cabled into different physical switches, protecting the user from a single hardware switch failure. A virtual port channel is configured between switches to prevent spanning tree issues. When sufficient hardware is available, NetApp recommends using the multi-switch configuration due to the added protection against physical switch failures. These NetApp references are recommended to help you successfully configure the ONTAP Select environment.